On this video, we're going to work on our first moves in modern jive. They're like a whip action, I guess, or a whip type action, depending on how you lead them. Uh, so let's invite Kerry in and we'll just demonstrate that a couple of different ways. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Start again, one, two. So if I lead it from this side, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. And I'm ready to start again, which I would lead the girl out three, four, or whatever. Okay, so the repetitive first move or volume first move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all I'm doing is my basic footwork back forward. It's really a, a basic for me, and the girl's doing the rotation. So I'll leave it from this way just to give you a quick idea on the handhold. We did teach this in another video. We went away together, and I had the girl in closed frame. We talked about that in another video as well. Then we continued a step across so that the girl can come through and then send her around. Um, let me do it from this way. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, start again, if I'm counting the patterns. All right. What so, I love that Shane does on that, actually, is as we're coming into the first move where it normally would redirect me back where I began, he's actually going to open his right shoulder more, turn and look at me, step across the slot so my feet can go between his, and then as his body revolves, his frame is drawing me around to the other side. Yeah, and I'm using that right hand to guide the girl or how that turn closed or open. All right, so one of the really nice variations on that move is when I do an inside exit for the girl. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. That's really smooth. Yes, yeah, so that's a nice movement. Makes it feel more like a whip action or maybe a um, swing out action on an inside roll. So rather than finishing in the promenade position like you would in a traditional first move, we're going to inside turn to exit. Yeah, so we'll demonstrate that from this side. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, through one, two, three, four, if we're counting the music. And Shane preps early enough, I'm just going to do it from that same side again. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Sevens. eight, I'm off the track. So between seven and eight, he's opening his right side of his body. He's preparing his left arm to come through, which shapes my body in a position where I don't have a question about what's coming next. Yeah, so I, and I'm also traveling down the tracker away from the girl to give her a little bit of space. So we'll need to demo from this side. Mm. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, down the track, down the track, and now I step back to where I came from, finish it off, and then we can start again. All right, so the hammerlock. This is like one of my favorites because it can lead me to doing a lot more advanced movements. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, whatever I'm going to lead. So you can see we taught in another video, and I'll just go over it. The hammerlock goes down, then around, and then I do the hand change at the back. So always think leaders, down, across, and up. The goal is straightening out her elbow, and the tip that I'd like to give is that the leaders straighten their own elbow, most likely, of course it depends on height difference, but most likely you're going to be straightening her elbow yeah, at the same time. Yeah, think about straightening your own arm, exactly. Down, across, hand change. And I don't rip on the arm. When I turn the girl, I've got connection to the small of her back that creates rotation through my body. So really, if he didn't have my hand there and his hand was simply on my pelvis, he would be rotating my pelvis. Rotating. It just so happens that my hand is there, so we stay in connection. And as we unwind, he's able to do Yeah, that and I relax that connection out of there and let that handhold come back to a normal handshake handhold. So we'll demonstrate that from this side. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, turning one, two, basic three, four, five, six. And do it from the other side? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. 
start again. And as you get better at this, you'll find you don't need to drop the hand all the way down, but just that action so it swings through so she can fold the arm. But that's a really, really cool one. We'll just do that here, go on. One of the things I'd like to point out about the gal's footwork is up until now, you could have probably, if you did the regular travel and return that repeats, two, three, four, five, six, you could have probably done the normal rock step on five, six. You'll notice I've been doing them closer together. But as we are transferring the hand behind us, we're probably gonna have our feet closer together on that one rather than having it so far back for a rock step. And I made my feet really big there at the end so you could see I'm pivoting turning that end. Yeah, all right. Um, how to do an outside turn off the first move. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. So I'm leading that on a one, two. It means I have to allow the girl to come through. And again, we're repeating the first move, but we're exiting with the outside turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Pretty easy, really. It's just simple. Don't rush the movement. You'll feel when the girl's in the correct place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. And again, it's not about the arm lifting and cranking and rotating above our head. It's actually about your entire body leaders. Yeah, so experiment with those type of movements and you'll see that you have a lot of fun because you can really get a lot of nice movement from the girl and rotation really, really easy. Take your time, the moves look good, they feel it's good. It's fun because you can accelerate or decelerate depending on how much power you're putting through the floor and through your body into that rotation. Change by keeping it at one and a half for me, but you can certainly make multiples out of that if necessary without cranking and without feeling like either one of your arms are getting ripped apart. All right, so yeah, it, Let's just remember, look at those tips. If you have to go over them a few times, please do. Just keep rewinding the video. And if you've got any questions, leave a little comment below.